Hey guys, so I know I'm in the same outfit as my last video, which is on Wednesday, but I thought I was on a roll and I really wanted to get this video out to you and I don't know if I'll have time in the next few days, so I am here double filming. I'm gonna get this out. I'm really excited about these and I want your guys' opinion because I don't know a lot about any of the roots that I picked up. I either picked them up because I've heard of them or I thought they sounded interesting, so I definitely wanna hear your thoughts. This is my grassroots warehouse, like book haul kind of deal, as you could probably tell by the like title of this video. But I'm pretty excited. Um, so it was on a Sunday. You can fill a giant paper bag from like the grocery store full of books for five dollars, like four ninety nine. Killer deal. Now I did not take like total advantage of it because I didn't find any. You know, I was kind of being picky, I was being pretty selective because I have such a big TBR shelf full of books that I need to read, so I was trying to kind of like rein in on it and only get books that I was really excited about. So I got um, three, four, five, six, seven, so I got seven books. Um, so I'm going to share them with you guys. I don't know really anything about any of them. So like I said, I just, I want your guys' opinion. So comment below if you've read one of these, what you thought about it, and whether it was a good choice or not. Um, Regardless, these were all under a dollar a book, so that makes me really happy. Um, the first one I picked up is called Wave, and I'm totally going to butcher the name if I even say it, but I picked this up because it's simple cover. It had just the one word title, which always seems to catch my attention, and then reading it, you know, it's got some awards, and then on the back it talks about how in 2004 at this beach resort on the coast of Sri Lanka, this girl, Son, Sonli, Sonli, I'm not sure, so, Sonli, I don't know, I'm really sorry. Um, and her family, parents, husband, and son were swept away by a tsunami. Only her, only she survived to tell the tale, and this is her account of the nearly incomprehensible, incom holy cow, event and its aftermath. I think it sounds heartbreaking and so sad, but it also kind of drew me in and made me want to read it. and. Um, this is also quoted being like the most powerful and haunting book I've read in years. I think that's exactly what this is going to be, but for some reason I'm really drawn into it and I want to read it and I'm intrigued by it, so I definitely want to read this and just check it out. Um, it looks semi-short. It's, uh, I don't even know how many pages, um, but it does, the chapters are pretty short. It looks like it'll be a pretty quick little read. I can't even find how many pages, honestly. There's like no page numbers. But... Oh, ha! I found a few. I found them, you guys. Top left corner, in case you were wondering. Kind of strange. So it's just over 200 pages, but um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this. So I thought this was a cool find, um, especially for under a dollar. And then the next two, you guys might want to hurt me, but I have never read them. I haven't even seen the movie except for bits and pieces of the first one, and... So I'm going to share those now. It is The Girl Who Played With Fire and The Girl With the Dragon Tattoo. So I still need to finish off the series, but I always see them and I never pick them up. And this time, these are both in like seriously brand new condition. And so I decided I might finally give this a try. So I want your guys' opinions because when it first came out, I was hearing nothing but like raving reviews and everybody seemed to love it and I just never got into it. Um, but now the longer it just is there, I'm intrigued. So definitely still thinking about picking these up. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are. And then the next one was another like cover by and then I read the back and it does sound pretty incredible. Um, one I again, I've never heard of though. It's called The Memory Jar by Alyssa Janine Hool, I believe. And this says, since the accident, Taylor's memory has been fuzzy, but at least she's awake. Who knows what her boyfriend Scott will remember when he comes out of his coma. Will he remember that Taylor was driving the snowmobile when it crashed? Will he remember the her engagement ring, her pregnancy? Will he remember that she tried to break up with him? Taylor doesn't know, but she doesn't know if she wants him to remember. Plenty of things happened that night and then the days before. Secrets wrapped in secrets that she'd prefer be forgotten. Dealing with choices she'd rather ignore, Taylor searches for something more solid than whispers and bigger than blame so that she can face the future and forgive herself. Um... This actually almost reminded me of The Twilight Wife by A.J. Banner, and I liked that a lot, so I think that's partly why I was so, like, 
gung-ho on getting this one and picking it up was just because it sounded kind of similar and like I said I just really enjoyed the aspect of uh, like your memory disappearing and one of the two is keeping secrets and the other one's trying to figure it out and so it's this big mystery in this like playing fields of who's gonna remember or what secrets come out and how it all turns out so definitely intrigued by that as well and this next one is called Bitter River by Julia Keller never read anything uh, it says she's a, a, pri a Pulitzer Prize winning author so that kind of caught my eye the cover caught my eye um, and I, I still can't totally remember ah right yeah okay so this girl Belle Elkins is a defense attorney or something like that prosecuting attorney um, they find out there's like a a girl that was found in the river they found out that she was killed before being tossed in the river so it's this whole case um, it also it kind of had like made me think of or had feelings and like vibes of oh my gosh what was it like was it Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. So I think that was, I, I feel like these are, I'm, I'm seeing a theme that I'm pulling from other books. I think that was why I, I banked on this one, but it sounds pretty good and I'm interested in getting into it. Again, I have no idea what most of these are about. Never read any of these authors, but I'm definitely interested and excited to dive into these. I also am starting to notice these are a little bit darker. Yeah, these are all definitely darker. There's no lovey dovey romance in this one. All right. So the next one is called Mean Streak. It is by Sandra Brown. I've seen a lot of Sandra Brown's books and I find myself always being drawn to their covers. I think they're usually, they usually are, at least the ones I can remember, are white with some red on them. And for some reason I'm always drawn in or these warmer like brownish tones. And anyways, they just always catch my attention and they always sound really good. Um, I don't remember what this one's about either, but I know it's some kind of thriller or a mystery or suspense. And I think my mother-in-law, I went with her to that cell, and I think she's read this, and she seems to like Sandra Brown as well. So I'm hoping that I will, because one of her newer releases really had my attention at Target, and I almost bought it like every time I went, and I still didn't buy it, so I'm like still kind of kicking myself over it. But I'm glad to at least have one that I can dive in and read and see if I at least like her um, writing. The last one, my mother-in-law actually did pick out and said that she has read, she watched the movie, and she said she really recommended it for me, even though it is definitely older. So I trust her opinions, and I was really excited, um, and she actually, um, yeah, pushed this one and told me to get it, and it is Mystic River by Dennis Lahane, 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 I'm not quite, quite sure how you say that, but she just raved about this and how it was one of her still I think is one of her favorite books she's ever read she just said it was so incredible so I'm definitely looking forward to diving into it and just seeing what she saw in it and if we feel the same way about it if it like moves me as much as it did her and so I'm just you know I like getting other people's recommendations especially those who I'm really close with and um, she definitely reads a lot of more crime and thriller kind of things where I tend to read a little bit more of a mixture she likes things a little more intense than I usually do, so I think this is going to be a good test of the water to kind of see where we line up. But I feel like for the most part, she knows me really well. I think this is just going to be a fantastic read, and I'm really excited for it. Um, probably one of the ones I'm most excited for, just because it had, you know, her recommendation, and, you know, it's somebody you know, and you trust their opinion, so I think this is one that I'm really going to enjoy, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. So thank you so much to Susan for making me get this one. All right, you guys, so that is everything I got in that little book haul. Um, there's another one at the end of this month, and my good friend Sadie is going to be coming down, and we're going to go together. It's going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait, so definitely stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Monday. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully, we have lovely weather because it's so beautiful today, so that is where I'm headed. I'm going to go hang out outside with my pup. So I hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you Monday. Bye, guys.